And hello, world. Welcome to the stream. Ah, oh, it's 1230. I should take the next pill. Got a little bit. Uh, let's see what we got going on today. So, yesterday, we... Let's see if he goes running here. It's not yet. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go Hugo Serve. I try and fix that. So, my Hugo Serve command... Or just a little function that I wrote, this HS. Um, uh, yeah, whatever. Mm, 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 mm. Nope, AWS functions. There you go. So this Hugo... This Hugo serve command function that I wrote pretty quick. Just uh, changes into my Hugo directory. Ooh, don't do that. I'll get out of it anyways. Uh, changes my Hugo directory, fires up Safari, and then launches Hugo serve d which has the drafts. So the Safari opens before Hugo's finished building the site, which is why you see this the first time you do it. If you put this below the Hugo serve d Hugo serve d doesn't return. It's an active thing. It keeps running. Uh, so I may actually play with that, because you could throw Hugo d into the background, but then you'd have to kill it instead of just control seeing it later. But there might be a way to bounce back and forth with that. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Um, oh, actually, I was going to do one other thing. Bear with me. This. This. That's weird. Why did that do a thing? Exact. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Uh, interesting. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, but what we're going to do starting now. So yesterday, what I did was... Let's go back to localhost 1313, where Hugo lives. I want to center that. Um, let me find the one that has the good thing. This has it. Uh, so yesterday, I made some code blocks that I'm still really happy with in terms of the coloring. Uh, it's basically I just styled them, is what I ended up doing. Uh, and I'm still very happy with it. But one of the things that I kept running into was I'd want to get, and this is problems that I've had in general. So like if I want to edit this draft, um, they finally nailed protons. Uh, so the way that I can do it, and actually I usually have Sometimes on, sometimes off. So you can see the down here, you can see what the URL is. I'm pointing to it, even though you can't see it, it's right down there, way down there at the bottom. Uh, but so this is in a, f a directory called, so they finally nailed protons, right? So it matches, that's cool. But when I'm trying to go edit it, so let's go here. So STH fires up Sublime Text with Hugo in it. I go in my content. I've got all these files, and so I gotta remember the alphabet. P, Q, R, whoops, oh, don't do that. S, somewhere. So they finally nailed protons. Now I got it. So it takes a little while to find the post. And it's not awful, but like it's one of those like annoying, annoying frictiony things. That's just I don't like it, uh, and it it's that little it's that little hiccup that can sometimes make you like ah, I'll edit it later and I don't have to deal with getting to it. Um, so what I want to do is on my local host to see if there's a way that I can create a button. And I was originally thinking I would do it on the page itself, which I might still do. Um, but you could also just do it right up here. Uh, that's like an edit button. And so the edit button would then just take you to, uh, would just fire up Sublime Text. And um, so basically do this, Sublime Text here, let's get in the right directory. Uh, actually, you can do it from anywhere, but Woodshed, Allen, Prod, so this is the Hugo directory, um, which is where that runs. So you can just do sublime text, 
content can't so they finally need index so i basically just want to run that command uh when i click a button so now we just gotta figure out how to do that um so something that can happen is uh, you can send URLs now that don't just start with, with HTTP and HTTPS um, and do different things. Uh, so let's just look at Apple URL protocol. Yeah, define a custom URL stream for your app. So, scheme developer. Finding URL schemes. iOS URLs seem susceptible to hacking, hacking, of course. Deep linking URL scheme versus universal links. That's cool. Um, string, or photo, URL, UI. This is how to do it on the dev side. I'm just curious to see what this looks like. Uh, URL contact source application. Okay. Uh, good. Da, 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 absolute string, whatever. So let's see if we just search Sublime Text URL. Clickable URLs? Nope. Open URL. URL address clickable. Address is clickable. Context. I can click URL. Yeah, so the problem is. Open URL, um, double click and sublime text. That's still not gonna be the same thing. I wanna go from, I need a sublime, I need to talk to sublime text. Um, preview localhost project with sublime text. What you got here? Uh, projects, sidebar enhancements. Browser, yeah, no. Open and preview, yeah. So none of this is open sublime text URL scheme schema. Open sublime from terminal. You can do. Open subpectorial bicep tendinosis. Eek. Subway surfers. Sometimes autocomplete's funny. Yeah, so this is how you do. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Maybe this has a command line. Maybe this will get us closer. Launch two, three from terminal. Terminal. See, this is all close because I'm already doing it from the command line. That's what this, this command was doing. See if any of this stuff has. Excuse me. I don't think it's going to, but we'll just look. Uh, sublime text documentation. This is a good. To Let's see what's in here. Get integration, increment diff, keywords, autocomplete tab. What's next going on? Ligatures. What are ligatures? Oh, it's for symbols and font stuff. I don't totally get what ligatures are, but. Since I'll say, yeah, so it doesn't seem. Like 
might have got it directly. Because, like, how does Zoom work? Um, web browser open app. So, custom URL handler. In files, folders, or Google Text, and the cursor. Click the open files and folders for new and supplying text. Yes, this is going the other way. See, like, there's some safety reasons that you, you're not just going to allow this. Oh, I wonder if... fire over to it. Well, if I'm going to do that, I just do... If that doesn't end quickly, we'll just switch it. Actually, I wonder if it's actually even running. It'd be kind of interesting. I don't know if it's up. Okay. Uh, that's fine. So, okay, that was going to be the, the potentially the easiest way to do it. Like, if I could have just sent... What's the actual um, sublime text? Oh, hang on, somebody else is streaming. Oh, there you go. 
This is exactly what I'm looking for. This application enables the mind text to open S sublime or SBLT URLs. As TechMate is described here. Installation, latest release. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, open terminal type that. Delete the following. Uh, Thanks, Steve. Is it not playing? I've totally got music going. Is it not coming through? Fuck. Hey, protocol. Sorry, I just saw your note. Um, I don't know why the music isn't going. Got on my headphones. All right, let me fix that real quick because I like to have music going. Music is fine. It's really just low on your end. It might be fine on my. Okay, I'll kick it up a little bit. I'm still trying to figure out where to have it. Yeah, that. It's super loud in my headphones, so I, the mix and monitor is not accurate at all. Steve, we should talk about that mixer. Um, anyways, so this this looks ex like exactly what I want. It's for Sublime Text 2. But if this works, uh, that's going to be pretty good. Uh, they both have USB out, Steve? I'm assuming that's how that works. How big is the 12? Well, whichever one. Uh, send me the four. Send me the four. I'll start with four. That's fine. Oh, hey, good. Protocol. Uh, so that Python stuff working for you good? Sweet, Steve. Um, all right, cool. So let me see if I can. So this is for some line text two, which I just stopped using and I've moved over to three because I started streaming and the text wasn't working right. Um, through this, working out the logic. Oh, I'm trying to move my mouse over to that screen, but it's on a different computer. Let's take a look what you got here. Oh, you're just going through all the stuff, I see. So, protocol had a interesting question a little while ago. Um, oh, you're doing classes and inheritance and all that stuff. Right, right, right. So you're doing the OO stuff. Um, about messing with IP tables and splitting it out. Yeah, protocol, I don't, so I've done very little OO programming. Um, And the, the little bit that I did, I took a class uh, from a woman named Sandy Metz, and she was talking a little bit more about composition instead of inheritance. I don't have, a, like, I'd, I'd have to kind of re-dig through my brain to kind of get that stuff going. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see kind of what you run into there. Uh, because there's definitely a lot with a uh, with parsing stuff, um, especially something like IP tables. I don't know all the all the ins and outs of it. Um, I should yeah, actually I should show what's going on here. Just put it on stream, um, which I think I can do. I was looking at it on the other computer. We can bring it over to this one. Except the link didn't come through. Eh, whatever. It's fine. 
Um, but now I know to keep the chat open here. So if links happen, I can uh, send them up. Actually, protocol, fire that link through one more time just so I get it in the chat and I'll just throw it up here. Exactly, just working out what stages you're adding in functionality and doing inherits that way, yeah. Let's see if I can, yeah, there we go. Yeah, so just working with IP tables, because uh, you're, you're just building something to process and parse this, right? Um, and so you're trying to, basically you get to deal with this. And then here's all the command options, yeah. Oh, that's an interesting problem. So I'm curious, what's your, uh, is this, what are you doing with this? Can you say what you're doing with this? I guess is the other question here. Um, but if you can, I'm just curious what your, uh, what the project is that you're working on. Cloud structure above, yeah, I should move. I don't have my chat showing up on stream yet. Oh, it keeps loading later. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, so that's good. Yeah. It's technically IP for your company. Okay, that's fine. Um, okay, cool. Uh, neat. Yeah, yeah. So I'm curious to hear about your project or your project. Process. Progress. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, as you go through this, it sounds like a neat little thing. Um, oh, cool. Free dissertation. Very cool. Uh, yeah, uh, so when you do your dissertation, that would be public, right? Is that how that works? I actually don't know. Um, if so, you'll have to send it over and I will get my eyes kicked out of my head by it because dissertations blow me away. Uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> Keep me up there. Uh, I gotta figure out how to get... Oh, I could put my stream comments directly in that little thing under my photo. That would be a good idea. Also, I'm just now noticing that right up here, it's not exactly aligned, but I can fix that right now. Maybe. Boy, is OBS picky. Okay, that's close enough. Actually, I'll fix it later, but I'm just not gonna mess with it right now. Um, oh, it won't be published, okay. I was thinking of streaming, so it actually, the coding. Yeah, I, man, I tell you, streaming is a lot of fun. And like, I find, or I'm finding, and I have found that I think differently when I'm having a discussion, there's, I don't know, have you ever heard of duck, uh, duck, duck type debugging, duck debugging? So there's this idea out there, rubber duck debugging. Um, the, the basic idea as I interpreted it, whatever you can read the Wikipedia article, oh, let's put that in the notes, um, is, It's sometimes helpful to talk to somebody else. So if you're working on a problem, uh, yeah, explaining it to a, to a rubber duck, that's exactly right. Yeah, you've got it. So for folks who aren't as familiar with it, um, the idea is like sometimes you're working on a problem you're in your own head and you can't figure it out. So you go talk to a colleague or a coworker or somebody and just by explaining the problem to them, without them actually saying anything, you walk yourself into a solution. Because something about saying it out loud and having to restructure into language, stuff that's in your head is kind of language, but not really, uh, walks you into an answer that you can try. Uh, and also, and often it's like a little bit of an epiphany. Um, but the, uh, this song's gotta go. Oops, wrong button. I made my button. Does it work? Yeah, it works. Um, so the idea behind rubber duck debugging is because the person doesn't actually have to say anything, you just need to be saying out loud, you get a rubber duck and you just talk to the rubber duck. I talk to my skull, uh, or Yurik over here, and 
but I don't do it that often. Um, but what I've found is doing the live streaming, it's a constant thing of that. And it's, it's super helpful. Like some of the stuff I did last night where I was working on um, the style sheets, I don't think I would have gotten where I was going if I hadn't been doing it. And also it slows you down. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's worth, I think it's worth doing vertical. It's, uh, it's definitely worth a shot. I will say, give it seven times before you really start to form an opinion of it because it takes, it took me, I don't know, five, six, seven times to really kind of feel like I understood what was happening. Um, I'm still changing it a little bit, but that was kind of the initial learning curve. Uh, and then like, there's a bunch of like, you know, OBS stuff that you gotta jump through and like all that jazz. Um, so yeah, uh, send me your stream when you start it, man. It's, uh, it's 100% a great experiment to, to run. Uh, I, probably not for everybody, but if it clicks with you, I think it's, it's a helpful thing. Um, so anyways, uh, rubber duck debugging, I love it. Uh, or you can do a skull. Uh, and you should look up Memento Mori. I'm spelling that all wrong. But it got it anyways. An object serving as a warning and a reminder of death, such as a skull. But not like in a creepy way, but in like in a, hey, life is short, go do. Uh, here, put that in there too, just because why not? Because I can do whatever, because it's my stream. Uh, uh, uh. All right, let's close some of these. Okay, here we go. So now let's see if we can find out how to get this working. Uh, so download the latest release, unzip it, launch Sublime Handle Preferences. Because it's an unsigned binary, you have to right click on the open. See, it's always a little bit weird doing this stuff. Um, Oh, updated seven years ago. Oh, actually, you know what we should do is just see. Yeah, I don't know. This is a little bit a little creeped out by this. Uh, I mean, it's fine. It's on my computer, so I'm gonna look this. But yeah, okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take another approach to this because I don't I don't necessarily want I necessarily don't want to have to install more software because that's just more maintenance and more stuff to have to deal with. Um, so I'm gonna do it another way. So I've got uh, so my Hugo website is all static files. There's no nothing dynamic there, so I can't do anything on the local um, host 1313 port here to, to make anything happen on the system. But I also have my launchpad site running on this, which is running on MAMP, which is an Apache, a local Apache server and some other stuff uh, rolled into it. Um, this is dynamic. So the easiest thing for me to do uh, is just to, well, I'm gonna start at the end and then work backwards. Um, so by starting at the end, what I mean is I wanna set up a page on Launchpad that I can send a URL to that will then open that file. And I'll limit it down to, um, so we're gonna open the Launchpad code here. Uh, so tools, I should have made that its own directory, but that's okay. Um, commands, what's in commands? Launch launchpad and SCL. Oh, look at this. Command Python. C import OS open system. Why didn't I do that in Python instead of just in bash? I don't know why I did that. Uh, and where is that? I don't even remember doing that. I don't think I linked it. Because this Python import launch system with launch and sublime text. 
Open. Launch sublime text. From XP command location header. What does this do? Oh, I never got this one to work. That's why it's not linked up. Um, Python C. Yeah, I couldn't get it to fire up, but I don't. Maybe I did try. Yeah, I did try going straight to it. So here's. Mm, okay. I forgot about this. So here is where I attempted to open a file from the browser and I couldn't get it to do it. I don't think, that's why it's not hot, right? Uh, where is this? Where's my index page? Yeah, I don't have anything there. So let's put this back in and just see what happens. href equals. Watch, watch about. And I'm just gonna copy and paste that. thing I'm going to do is take this redirect out here. I just want to see what happens. I don't know if it's actually going to export anything for me or show me anything. Launch, launch, bad. What happens? It hangs. Okay. Alright, so... I feel like I spent a lot of time on this before, but we're going to try it again. Um, let's get the right here, character. CMD equals... Open... Users LNS. Let's just see if we can open the... That worked. Okay. Made file open. Finder open. But I couldn't get Sublime Text to open, I don't think. So here's. Let me reverse this. So that worked. This works. Let's try this. I'm gonna put it in single quotes and then wrap it in double quotes because there's a space right here that we gotta deal with. I could escape it, but let me see what this does. So this is the path to sublime text? Oh no, it's not. This is the path to sublime text. Okay, before we do this, let me try it on the command line. I want to get, so, it's easier to go here. There we go, open sublime text. So that, this command works. It's easier to test it on the command line and then try and move it to PHP. So, let's see if this goes. See, that doesn't do it. Um. Oh, you know what? Hang on a second. Does this... Hang on. This keep notes. This doesn't work. Here's where we're trying to fire it through with Python. So actually again, let me make sure. Oh, 
see that's got the escaped characters in it. So if you do the single quotes, the uh, no. So for the command line, that would be this. Remove the escapes. Does that work? That works. Okay, so this maybe will work. Probably not. Do can we send out to bash instead of Python? So open worked out of the box. I don't think some of this stuff before and it didn't work. So you can call out to the shell, but why doesn't that... Try and run commands such as genes and shelter and get an end result. Yeah, okay, I got that. I don't want to, I don't care about capturing. So, shell X. Let's just try a couple other things. So, first thing is to see if I can get. Open with an explicit password, path, work. Well, what happens if we just open, try and open the file? Super loud. 
out of my headphones. Whatever, zip codes, because we see it. PwC will copy it for me. Yeah, whoops, index What is this going to do? It's going to be super silly if this works. to run Xcode. Hang on a second. That might be cool. I don't know if I can see it. Uh, content, show me some content. Nope. Wait, wait, what? Oh, it's Launchpad, wrong one. You come here, you come here. Uh, get info on this file for me. So MD files, which is what uh, much of a thing uses, Hugo uses, are currently set to open with Xcode. If I say to Sublime Text, change all, let's do it. Close that. See if that did it at the system level. Tab, what do you got? Boom. That worked. So you can just straight open it with it. That's cool. I did, so I was trying to fire open Sublime Text and get it to open the file. And, and the reason I was trying to do that was like with this command, uh, I'll show you. Oh, actually, I should copy this can directly. Um, so, ZSH, AWS, no, CD. Um, the third one text, AWS functions. Uh, so, I tell SEL opens my Launchpad website. And so, I send it. Sublime Text, oh, that just opens the directory. Uh, one of these opens Sublime Text, and then I also open a file. This one right here. So ST is for Sublime Text. It opens this content directory, and then it also passes a parameter to open the, a specific file that it just made. So what I was trying to do was replicate this command to open this as well. And I, that's what I couldn't get to work. Um, but so I'm golden here, so I'm not going to mess, because when you do that, it opens Sublime Text uh, with the directory structure over on the side, and then the file that you want already opened here. So you could have said like this. Um, but just getting the file open itself is a good first step. So I'm not gonna worry about getting the directory structure open right now. I'd like to see if I can do that later, but right now I just wanna get it so I can click a button and have the thing come up and then I can edit it. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Um, and that looks maybe like it's gonna be simpler than I thought. So do 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 do, where am I going? Sublime text, you go down here, oh, actually, to use our SEL because we need to go back into that. So we're in commands. This this works to launch a file in Sublime text. Assuming MD is assuming that's the app that's set. Uh, just put that BB edit. Hmm, that sounds alright. Actually, let me do this. I do want to do where I can see. Oh, 
that's already in my other list of songs that have a little tempo to them. I'm still figuring out all the music. So, STL. The other thing I'd like for Sublime Text to do is, if a directory is already open, just take me back to the window where the directory is open. That would be cool. Maybe a way to do that. So we got our commands, we're gonna make a new file, and we're gonna call this one, uh, open Hugo page. Oh, you can't see that. Open Hugo. this and so what we're gonna do to start with is uh, another Sandy Metz thing is just kind of this shameless green I just want to prove that I can open a file when I hit this and then it redirects so this works uh, what was the original thing to this Here's, I'm going to do a couple things. Uh, but it works for launching a single. Cool. What if I should put in. So I want to open, well, so let's actually open the file that we want to have, which is going to be this drafts. What's that? The, let's find the drafts. Oh, might as well edit the one that we're editing. So it's going to be this right here. And because the directory structure is based off the Directory structure, the URL directory structure is based on the file system directory st structure. This should open that file. What do we get? Oh, uh, we're gonna wanna do a link to it. Should I be in commands? That's fine for now. I'll move it maybe later. Uh, tools. It's like a launchers. Yeah. Uh, protocol saying he uh, drew out, got some paper out to draw out some inheritance stuff. And yep, uh, physicalness. Uh, I'm with you. That helps my brain. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna move this to launchers. I don't think I've saved it yet. Did I save it? I did. Let's move it. I can probably move it here. Can you move it here? Does this work? My name is Folder History File History. Oops. Ooh, look at that. Rename, reveal, and final fleet. I can't move it. Okay, whatever. It's fine. It has reveal and finder though, which makes that easy to do. So we're gonna use 
this. I'm just gonna put this at the top right now. Like, because this is my personal site, my personal launchers, I just, like, I've got no problem shoveling stuff all over the place while I'm, especially while I'm working in dev, and I just slowly refine it to, to where I want it to go. Uh, let's see. For my ICMP, TCP, UDP, all classes will inherit from parameter classes, which inherit from the command class. I hope you can show me this at some point, because I kind of get that, but like I said, I haven't done that much object-oriented stuff. And I'm having a, so your, those classes will inherit from your parameter classes. Develop the full command. Oh, okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, neither of you. <laughs> Best way to learn. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to see what you come up with. Um, some job in the past, but I'll figure it out. Yeah, no, I mean, that's it. You just keep slamming on it until it goes, right? Uh, yeah, and that actually reminds me, so... Uh, protocol in the world, I don't know if you all have ever seen Exorcism. Um, .io, it's a really neat little thing. Uh, I'm assuming it's still free, yeah. But it's... Uh, they give you little... I'm assuming this is still the same, it may have changed. Um, So what it used to be, if you're in a second, Python track, all exercises are here. But you get a you you get a set of tests for a project with no code, and then your goal is to write code that passes all the tests. But then you can also see how other people have handled it. And here, let's pick one a little bit more than Hello World. Uh, determine a word or phrase as an isogram. I don't know what an isogram is. But like, here's the batch of code that one person wrote with a try going to the for, going to the ifs. Here's a completely different looking batch of code. Like, I'm not reading it right, but it's just neat to see how other people handle stuff. Because sometimes you see really different chunks. Um, and the more complicated the, the thing, um, the, the more you get it. So it's a neat, it's a neat way to look, just kind of like see what other people are doing and how they're doing it. And then also to go through the exercise yourself. So when I was doing it, um, a little bit, the, uh, 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 open this, I'm gonna put this here. Um, You'd go through and you'd, you'd do your own and then you'd submit it or you'd upload it or do whatever. And you don't even have to submit it. But then you can go look at how other people solved it and then try and figure out how their code worked. It was a really neat experience. Um, I, that's the the most, uh, you know, I should do that. Um, actually, I think I've got that on my list. Uh, Twitch ideas. Do. This is on. Things, whatever. I like there. Yeah, right, yeah. Uh, it's a really, it's a neat thing to look at. Uh, I think I'm not sure. I have that pinned. <laughs> Five days ago, I've used it much longer ago than that. Uh, all right, what are we doing? Uh, we're, we're making our launchers up here. Uh, I didn't close something because it's all freaked out. Probably the href or the header. Oops, wrong. Four, four. Why is it all shoved to the side? Why is that happening? Because of that. All right, so I'm just gonna hard code a link to the launcher for right now. Again, this is just the simplest thing. I, I wanna work from the end, so I'm just doing the simplest thing possible to, to get me going. Test, here you go, launcher. So that just goes into launchers, open, you 
sudo file.php. Let's close that. We're gonna show up now, there we go. I hit the right page. Ah, and it worked. Popped it open. Cool. What happens if you hit it twice? So we already got it open once. Is it open every time? That one, the other thing we need to do. It did not open it again. Maybe I'm okay with that. I'll have to see if I'm okay with that. But again, starting, I want to solve the whole, the, the happy path, the first thing first, before I kind of go try and get all the rest of the mechanics going. That's an easy one that I could have like, same thing with the directory structure. I could have like rolled off on that and then spent a bunch of time trying to get the directory structure work before I even had the basic link working. So focus on the basic link, Alan, get the, get the basic thing going. Um, Uh, live coding. Oh, wait, why does this not have... Oh, because BB Edit doesn't autosave. BB Edit, autosave, please. There we go. Freaking me out. So now what we need to do is add a redirect in there to go... Oh, interesting. So what I'd want to have happen is... Uh, so let me close some of these things because we're good here. Close much stuff. I'm probably good with all this. All right, cool. Yeah, cool. So, what I want to have happen is when I click on the link, I want it to come back to the page that I clicked on the link from. Um, so, right now, I'm just going to take it back. Again, simplest, easiest thing to do. I'm just going to redirect it straight back to. Um, I've already got header code here. Uh, I'm just going to redirect it just to the home page for now of the localhost site. So what should happen, I'm going to close this, make a new one. If I click this, it's opening in the background, but there's your open, and then it redirects back to this. Okay, so that's that's the basics. And so now what I can do, I wanna get off of that launcher, I wanna to get to this site to start with, instead of this open file. Uh, sorry, instead of, instead of clicking here, I wanna actually move the button, I wanna get the buttons here, at least get that connection working. Um, so that, is going to be in my Hugo site. And it's going to be in layouts. Nope. It's going to be in themes. Tail. Uh, layouts. Partials. The only reason I know this is because I spent some time kicking around here the other day. I, I had to find it. Uh, but this is, I think. No, pagination is the thing at the bottom. Footer header. Single? No, index. Probably index. Introduction? No. Footer, header. Head, header, header. Index? Ah, index. Uh, so just to see if that really is where I need to go, there's all the dots that I just did. Um, and there they go. Maybe. There you go. So I just need to put that in the button here. So render summary. What is this? So this is for my this is for my draft site, so I don't care that it's not super designed. Like in fact putting it under is fine. So this render summary, if I wanted to, there are where's the summary? Oh, under default? Yeah, default. Layouts default summary. So here's the actual code. So if I wanted to put it um, in between. Ooh, that's actually not bad there. How do you like it there? Um, I was going to mess around with it and put it somewhere else. But so let's just put it in. href equals and edit. Do that. Make sure it shows up. Giant, but that's okay for right now. 
And then what we want to do is go to our launch pad, copy link, paste that in there. And now when we go to localhost, I click get it, boom. Keeps opening in the background, but it's opening. Um, sweet. Yeah, so that's a huge portion of it. Now we need to obviously figure out how to, so right now it's hard coded to open that file um, and it's hard coded to come back to the homepage. So the first step to do is get it uh, opening the right file. So I wanted to open the file that I'm on. Um, and so what I'm going to do right now is just look around the source code a little bit, right? So this link is probably largely what I'm going to want to deal with because that shows me, it's giving me, oh, so it's giving me a full link uh, right down here. That may be small. Can you raise that? Oh, look at that. Ooh, that was a little much. Um, so it's a full URL, which is fine. Uh, but this, excuse me, live coding 2020 is what I want. That's the string that I want. That's the URL that I want. So now I just need to figure out how that string gets made, which is going to be the catalog. Uh, all right, I'm going to have to do this for a second. Here we go. Yeah, okay, so this this is it, AHRF permalink. So the easiest thing for me to do uh, is going to be to pass a git parameter. So it's just adding something into the URL. Um, I'm gonna call it page equals this permalink. The only trick is I don't know so I'm passing characters that I don't know if they should be escaped or not. It may work. Uh, I'm gonna put that back where it was. So yeah, so that, I'm just copying that chunk of code out. And then what I, so I don't need to think too much about that piece of code. I'm just gonna send the full URL. When it hits the PHP page, I'll process it there and then do what I need to do for, uh, for that. So, Run that, and then, oh, let me take out our redirect right now. Because what we should see is the URL should still be there. Okay, there we go. Oh, so it's escaping somehow. Yeah, so it's escaping all the slashes and stuff. Oh, okay, I don't know how or why it's doing that, but it is. But yeah, so it opened, we're cool. I'm not redirecting right now because I want to stay on this page so I can deal with it. Um, so PHP parameters, I gotta remember how to do this. PHP git, there we go. I've been here recently. This in here. Uh, yeah, so this, when you, when you pass that git parameter, the thing after the question, you give it a key and then a value. The key that I used was page and the value is the URL. So, uh, HTML special characters. I'm gonna take that. <coughs> Note the git variables are passed through URL to code. The code's URL encoded string. Okay, so I think that's what's doing all that. Yep, that's what's doing. No, maybe not. We're just gonna try it and see what happens. Uh, get, oh, here we go, get. I'm just gonna grab the thing straight from the example. Uh, assuming the user entered da 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 da, -da name. The above will, okay, yeah, cool, let's try it. So, page e 
uh, page URL. That's actually what I should call it. I'm gonna keep it this page here for now. So again, we're just gonna, oops. The other cool thing is I can just reload this page now. Yep, popped, cool. Uh, echo. Page URL. So I should see that. Okay, cool. So that's what we have. And now, uh, so there's a couple different ways we can do this. I want this. And I could use a regular expression to kind of try and find it and grab it, but I think I'm just going to use split on the dashes because this is like I've got a known thing coming in. Uh, I don't need to get all crazy with it. Let's see if the song's going to pick up. Uh, kind of makes me want to drive. It's not bad. Um, I'm going to put this in my groove playlist for now. Let's see if it holds up. But now, so if I do a split, I'm gonna go here, PHP split. Mm, didn't like that chord change. Oh, what does explode? Split and explode. I remember explode from back. Split a string by any regular expression. What's explode? Split a string by a spring. Oh, I think it's faster. Oh, implode. HP split versus explodes. Explode. Ooh, it's raining, raining. Just curious to see what the difference is here. What's the difference? It's used to splitting a large string. Both functions are used to split a string. Yeah, it's regular expression versus just splitting on another string. Yeah, okay. So you could do, yeah, so that's fine. So if I'm just doing explode, that's all we need. So I can explode on that slash. URL parts equals, I already forgot the syntax. HP explode. string string okay so our delimiter is going to be a slash and our string that we want to explode is that and now if we echo this oh you know what we should do where's that um php console log I... oh i didn't keep it where did i put it Uh, all right, so hang on. I want to see if I can find this. Um, I don't want to have to type all four letters. Uh, grep. In real life. Console. S-O-L-E. For all the files. Live coding, building Griffley, Giffy part two. I think that's gonna be it. Um, so now, oh, and this would be perfect. If I had my thing working, uh, I would be able to go find my Giffy part two, Giffy part two thing, which is right here, and click edit, and then have it bring me the code. Uh, 
which would also be super useful because um again because it's super helpful. I'll log on the console. This is their code. And it's awesome. So I want to. So instead of just echoing out, I want to print to the console, uh, just because you can. Even though this page is going to bounce, um, it's console underscore log, right? that but I want to I like this code and I want to figure out why it's not working is the page still working Just because I'm redirecting, I wanted to have it in the console versus up here, and it's a practice to kind of keep using this stuff. So I like this code. Yeah, you can use parse URL. All right, back on. Um, oh, for... Instead of the explode? Oh, return to components. Oh, that's cool. The value array elements are not URL decoded. Okay. Uh, parse URL tries its best to parse them correctly. Okay, yeah, try parse URL. I like that. That's cool. Yeah, let's do this. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with the show notes yet, but. Um, Got that. URL parts equals parse. Whoops. Whatever. You can type that. Parse URL with page URL. Let's see what console log handles with this. Q 
team. Oh, neat. Path, perfect. That's great. Thank you. That's awesome. Because uh, then all we need to do, let me close this one, is get. Is this where you do this? What's the path? Can't remember how you do it, PHP. Yes, I will buy Sublime Tech soon, I promise. There you go. That's the path. That's exactly what we needed. Uh, because then we can do our assembly. Actually, for a second, I'm going to turn this off. Even though I may just be about to turn it right back on. Shall I execute? So those, all my file paths, none of my file paths have spaces in them on intentionally. So I might be able to just turn this. I'm just going to fire it up and see what happens. Double quotes. And we're going to put our path right here. Actually, go ahead and try and redirect. Hmm, three direct is going to be interesting because sometimes I'm going to have a path and sometimes I'm not, and I'm not sure how that's going to behave. Uh, but if the path comes, should, path should come back as empty, right? So if we do that. There it goes, right back. And if we go to uh, Stream Deck, fast forward, whatever. Oh, it didn't open. Oh, I hit the wrong page. Eh, try to edit. Boom, there it is. And it redirected. Oh, yeah, it automatically redirects. Uh, so it automatically redirects to the page. That's actually fine, because if I'm editing it, I want to see it. That's cool. There's a way to make it the front most application. I'm fine with this for right now. Um, I may, this is a test. Test, give me test, there you go. Uh, that's cool, that's it. Um, I want to, see I don't think there is a way to fire up and tell the application to become the frontmost thing because it keeps. Yeah, there, there shouldn't be a way to do that um, security wise. I don't think you can do that. Maybe you can, but I don't know it. Um, but I'm okay with it for right now because I can, I can just edit and then control tab to it or command tab, alt tab, whatever. Uh, that's cool. Okay, so that's that's step one. That's that gets me. That's my happy path kind of thing going on there. Um, so the last thing I want to do on that is uh, get that back up for. Actually, I'm just gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave that sit. Um... All right, whatever. Do it this way. Uh, yeah, it's all cool. Uh, oh, there's more content up there. Oh, that wasn't even the stuff that I edited. Uh, whatever. Uh, cool. 
Yeah, so I like that a lot. Uh, I need to put a link to this up there, even though I'd usually bounce to it anyways. Uh, now I can actually go through and edit all these drafts and make it easier to do. Oops. Oh. Yeah, I may, I may, I'll probably get to play that at some point and see about pushing it up so that it launches to the front. Um, but for now, it gets me open. I don't have to dig down through the director tree. That's way better. Uh, still some room for improvement, but that's in pretty solid shape. Cool. Um, thanks for parts URL. That's really great. I like that a lot. And uh, that will do it for now. Uh, I'm going to go check out a rhetoric professor's stream because... I know a rhetoric professor and he's streaming. I want to go see what he's talking about and have my mind melt. So, uh, y'all have a good one. Take it easy and be kind and we'll see you next time.